Hello and welcome to MC Explains, an investor education initiative brought to you by Money Control and Invesco Mutual Fund. Returns, returns, returns and risk, risk, risk. We talk about these concepts separately but in reality they are very much interlinked. One such linkage is through a concept known as information ratio. This is a mathematical calculation which combines both risk and return and serves as a financial ratio to measure the RAR or risk adjusted return of a scheme portfolio. In a recently released circular, markets regulator SEBI has now mandated AMCs to publish the information ratio daily for equity schemes on their website. Let's understand what this ratio is and how it can be useful to investors. As mentioned, information ratio is a measure of risk-adjusted return for a given portfolio. In this case, the portfolio is your mutual fund scheme. To calculate the ratio, you have to first consider the difference in rate of return of the mutual fund scheme as compared to the rate of return of its primary benchmark. This showcases the excess return that a fund manager is able to generate. The standard deviation of excess returns of the information ratio measures how much this difference deviates from its average, thus telling us whether the scheme return is consistently able to outperform its benchmark or not. That's the part which measures the risk of investing in a particular scheme versus the underlying benchmark. Mathematically, this ratio can be arrived at by first finding the difference between the daily rate of return of a specific scheme compared to its daily benchmark rate of return and then dividing this by the standard deviation of this excess return. Higher the information ratio, the more consistent the scheme returns are or in other words, the better the risk adjusted return of a scheme is. SEBI has specified a format wherein AMCs need to present this information for 1, 3, 5, 10 years and since inception period on their websites on a daily basis and it needs to be comparable, downloadable and in machine readable format that can be used to further analyze the number. So why is it important? Now that we know what the information ratio is and how to get it, let's see what the relevance is for you. Information ratios of various funds in a category can be compared to understand which schemes offer better risk-adjusted returns. For instance, if Scheme A delivers 10% return, Scheme B delivers 9% return and their benchmark delivers 6% return, on the basis of only return, you may conclude that Scheme A is a better performer. Now, if we assume that the standard deviation of Scheme A returns compared to benchmark return is 3%, and the same for scheme B is 2%, you will find that the information ratio which divides the excess return by the standard deviation of excess return is higher for scheme B. In effect, it is saying that scheme B has better risk adjusted returns and is more consistent performer when compared to the benchmark. Information ratio helps in understanding how impactful the fund manager's active stock selection is in outperforming the benchmark and how consistently it happens. Keep in mind that an information ratio greater than one is considered reasonable and it can be negative if the fund is underperforming. Also, this is just one more parameter you can use to assess a fund's long-term performance. However, it's not the only one to use while deciding where to invest. Hope this video has been useful in showing you what information ratio is how to use it and where to find it. Keep watching MC Explains for more such informative videos on mutual funds. Thank you. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.